just finished doing my nails. I got a new collar from TJ Maxx. I've just been lying in bed because I'm just not feeling this weather. It's snowed out here in the Midwest. And I'm just not feeling it. Today's the first day that's a little bit sunny again. But that means the black ice will be forming this evening, which is even worse. Okay, good morning. Today I'm going to show you guys what I'm currently using for my skincare. First off, I like to use um, a toner. I used to use rose water, but at the moment I'm using Mario Debescu Skincare. This is really popular. You can find it anywhere. Spray it. Yeah, this is the aloe, cucumber, and green tea. Spray it. Let it rest on your skin for like a minute. It's a really light spray. As it dries, fan it, fan it. And then vitamin C. I love this. It makes my skin bright. And it really, really evens out my, um, my skin tone. I know, like, you hear that a lot. But that is what vitamin C does, so. I especially get, like, um, discoloration, like, right here. So. Rub it in. Extra, put it on your neck. Mm. Right now I'm using this um, moisturizer because I got it for Christmas and I love it. Why isn't it focusing? I believe when you have good skincare, you don't have to wear a lot of foundation. Done. Lip balm. This doesn't focus very well. It's the same brand as my spray. It's the Mario Debescu Lip Balm. If I go outside, um, I put on SPF. I usually do, but when I put on my vitamin C moisturizer, then I'm usually just staying indoors, even though I know the UV rays can still get on my skin, but yeah, when I go out, I put SPF, which I use the Olay, and this one only has SPF 30, but I like it. I don't break out when I use it. It's the Olay Sensitive. And another one that I really, I used to love this so much, it's the Tiger Grass Color Correcting Treatment. Neutralizes redness and protects skin, improves skin appearance to be vibrant and then SPF 30 as well. Um, I used to love this. This is like my third one already, but, but now that I, when I use it for some reason, like if it gets close to my eyes, my eyes get a little bit watery. I think it's really good. It, it makes your skin like these red, it can make like red, redness um, disappear. So yeah, it's really good. Another toner that I love is um, this one. It's by a French makeup artist. 
named Violet. And she also has a YouTube channel, but yeah, I love this. It's called Boom Boom Milk. And it's just a like a face spray, hair spray, body spray for like moisture. Boom Boom Milk all over cream spray. Yeah, and look how beautiful that is. Yeah, I also got this as a Christmas gift, but yeah, it's really lovely. This is one of the masks that I use. It's called Bouncy Mask First Aid Beauty. I really, really like this brand. Uh. For exfoliating at the moment, I'm using the Mad Hippie. It's the Aduki Bean Matcha White and Green Clay. So my sister got me this for Christmas and it's good. I really like it. It's like more like a powdery form. And you mix it with water and then you rub rub it on your skin or on your face for I do it for about a minute and then I rinse it off. And to get rid of pores, I like to use the First Aid Beauty Purifying Mask with Red Clay. This one is more like you put it on your my T-zone and I peel it off and then it takes out the pores. So this one's really good for that. This is good for taking out um, dead skin. These are the three masks that I, I'm using right now. So that's it for my morning face brain freeze. That's it for my morning um, face routine. And my skin is all bright now. I look so dehydrated. <laughs> Probably because I am. I only had coffee and I haven't had a glass of water yet. But anyway, this is more like natural light. You guys can kind of see like my bright skin from all the products. <laughs> and reminder, I am in my 30s. So I'm just using things that works best for me right now. I've been using skincare like since my late teens. That's like 12, 13 years already. So these are just the things I'm using right now that works best for my skin. So, okay, I'm gonna get dressed now. Okay, like whenever I'm alone, I always think about random things and this just came into my thought and no one's here next to me right now, like my husband. So I have to say it to you guys, like, I know everyone always thinks like, oh, you know, like I'm getting older, like every birthday you're always like, I'm getting older, I'm getting so old. And you're only like 26 or like 23 or 30, 31. The point is, yes, we, everyone is getting older, but you know, like life doesn't end until you die. And that could be when you're in your 30s or 40s, but let's just say everyone doesn't die until they're dead of old age and that should be around 80 or 90 so technically if you're like 30 or under you're not even halfway there yet so just uh just think of that and life doesn't end yet and you shouldn't stop doing things or stop learning or starting what you always wanted to start because you think you're getting older i'm 31 and I'm still gonna learn an instrument, so. Yeah, just like a little story. Cause like I didn't know how to swim until I was in my 20s. And it took me three summers to learn. Three summers until I, I was able to swim. And so first summer I failed. You know, I played around in the lake and I didn't learn how to swim by the end of the summer. Second summer comes around and I kinda, I'm getting more comfortable. I can't really swim yet and then third summer comes around and I can swim but I can't go far <laughs> I can swim and then after that um, you know like when I went to the LA fitness pool I could swim across the pool so you know it took me three or four years but I didn't give up you know I started and then I learned how to swim so now I can swim so hopefully that story motivated some of you. Just be positive, spread love, not hate. And um, yeah, spread kindness.
I am so sorry my hair looks like this and I've been talking to you guys for like 10 minutes probably. to make coffee. I just added some cane sugar into my Americano. It's ready, my Americano's ready. Perfect. I don't know what I'm gonna talk about today, but I haven't seen you guys in a while, so I wanna talk to you guys. Anyway. I'm gonna enjoy my coffee or my Americano. I love espresso. If any of you guys love espresso, we should go out together to a cafe sometime. I'm so fortunate my mom got me my espresso machine for Christmas like two years ago. So I've um, been very lucky to get to have my espresso at home and save lots of money. You know what? I want to share something. Hold on. I'm sure a lot of you guys know what journaling is. I've been journaling for a long, 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 long time. I've been journaling since they were called diaries. Like when I was a kid and there's like a little lock. And you have a little key to open the lock and only you can access your diary. Anyway, so I've been writing since I was a kid. Unfortunately, I threw all my old diaries away, I don't know. I threw it away in middle school. When teen, when preteens are emotional. <laughs> threw all my uh, diaries away a long time ago, but um, you know, I'm still writing now, but now they're called journals. And everyone's journaling now. But I've been journaling like all my life and yeah. I remember I wrote something in here about gratitude. I write about gratitude all the time, but there there was a entry that I wrote and it touched my heart. If I can find it. Yes, here it is. January 3rd of a different year. I wrote gratitude. Thank you, mom, for wanting the best for me. You always protect us in your own way. You prepare for us. So I wrote that for my mom. And I wrote a different entry for my grandma, who's also a strong woman. I said, thank you, grandma, for your love. Thank you for doing your best to raise your children. And this is for my grandfather that I never got to meet in real life. It said, thank you, thank you, oh my gosh. I, I wrote, thank you, my grandpa, for watching over us. Please continue to protect us from evil and bad luck. Please bring more blessings, love, forgiveness, prosperity, luck, and protection. Your children still need you. That's it. Um, I don't know how that sound for you guys, but for me, it was just coming from a place of gratitude because I also like to meditate. So like sometimes when I meditate and then if I have like overwhelming feelings of gratitude, I just want to write it down. Um, so yeah, that day it was about gratitude.
yeah i used to be like that it girl no i used to be that girl but without labeling myself like i didn't even know it was a thing like where you wake up early meditate drink lemon water and exercise yeah used to be that but anyway um yeah just um do things that make you happy unplug once in a while unplug get away from that youtube facebook instagram what's that that new one called tiktok uh go read i know that sounds so boring now but read a real book smell the pages when you open it up um if you don't like to you know buy books or go to the library then you know there's also ebooks i read on the libby app libby l-i-b-b-y which is just like a library app and you can um borrow books like when you go to a normal library you borrow books but you're borrowing the ebook mm. anyways i have the libby app on here but my camera's not focusing so right now i'm i'm reading um the Tea Girl of Hummingbird Lane by Lisa C. I, I really like her. She wrote Peony in Love, and that's a really great book. Yeah, she likes to write more like um, Chinese characters. I think she's of Chinese descent, so. But back to journaling, you know, have gratitude every day and then you'll be happy. If you don't have gratitude, it, it doesn't matter how much you have, you'll never be happy. You're always going to want more, more shoes, more bowls, more spoons, more pretty cups. Yeah, I manifest great things and I think it's due to gratitude and I'm really, really grateful for that. I'm not going to talk too much about my personal experiences because I don't want to give away like things that are like close to me just to like private things. But anyway. Take care of your skin, take care of your body, take care of your mind. I hope this all makes sense. I'm just talking to you guys today. Can you guys tell that my husband's not home? Maybe when I get like 10,000 subscribers, I'll do a get to know me video. So please support by subscribing and turning on the notification bell and leaving a comment so I can talk to you guys. And just subscribe. I know you guys are watching, but some of you guys aren't subscribing yet, so please support. Spread my channel, spread love, spread kindness. Next time, let's grab a coffee together. Okay, goodbye. I'm done for today. Time for another movie night. Okay. Are we going to go on Amazon Prime tonight? Yes. Okay. Off to Amazon Prime. When I don't have coffee, I, I drink my emergency coffee. To this. Can you guys tell that I'm a plant person? This is the oat milk that I use. I like every type of milk. I also drink regular milk, almond milk, sometimes just uh, Americano is good enough which is just water and the espresso. But today is the latte, so oat milk and the two coffee packets that I took out earlier. And here's my Scorpio cup. I'm gonna enjoy my breakfast. For our lunch, I'm going to be stir frying these eggplants with pork. Cut up some pork and garlic. And now I'm ready to stir fry. Mm. 
And I love coffee, so I always watch coffee vlogs. Here is the finished dish. The color looks a little bland, but I promise you, if you get to eat it, it'll just melt in your mouth along with the white rice. Yummy! Super cold today. Possibly snow here. Oklahoma is weird. The weather is weird. Super cold. Super cold. I just did a workout. Now I'm gonna make some salad, a salad bowl. I'm using the fine, the fine couple, so it's thinner. While that's boiling, I'm gonna cut up my garlic. I'm gonna make my sauce. I'm making the Vietnamese sauce, like when you get the the noodle salad bowl at the Vietnamese restaurants. I'm making that type of sauce. Gotta check the noodles. Okay, now I'm stirring the sauce. I usually love to use coconut water, but I don't have any, so it's sugar and water. This is like the best fish sauce, honestly. I don't know, but out here, fish sauce is $8.99 now. It's a little bit pricey. I don't know if like they changed the price, but you know, I mean, I guess people really love it, so it's their choice, right? Lime, we need lime. Make sure to always um, cook with intention, cook with love, and you know the most important things is feeding your body healthy things um, and feeding your mind healthy things. I like social media as well, but um, for a few years now I've, I've always trained myself and I don't really actually use it that much. Especially um, Facebook, I have it, but I actually don't really um, stay on it long. So I only know what's happening in people's life if they actually tell me through a message. Frying the tofu, almost ready. So I'm, I'm making my salad and some pu'er tea. It's good to just cleanse the body daily. The finished cooked meal. Mm. There's rice noodle and lettuce underneath. carrots, so under it is some good veggies and a little bit of rice noodle. I got my pu'er tea and my cute little cup that my little sister gave me. Now all I gotta do is pour this delicious sauce in there and eat it. Mm. Mm. 
I always make this dish, so it's delicious. The jumbo shrimp. Very good.